Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a, another LinkedIn live broadcast. Looking forward to uh, spending a little bit of time with you this afternoon. Um, I know that for some of you, it's probably right at dinner time, so maybe this isn't the greatest time to do a broadcast, but at the same time, right now is when things were popping into my brain, and so I decided, you know what, let's just do this. So I want to talk to you about LinkedIn, and this is uh, something that I've been talking about a lot lately. I've shared a lot of different tips on LinkedIn. There are a couple that I've hit on more than others, but there are a few things that have been happening lately. Uh, at least I've seen some trends in my own LinkedIn profile that are kind of frustrating. And so that is why I wanted to do this very quick broadcast for LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. You guys know that I love LinkedIn. I talk about it all the time. I talk about different ways to, uh, to use LinkedIn for your voiceover business. I've worked really hard to grow a very large network for myself on LinkedIn and to uh, generate some really great voiceover leads and voiceover opportunities from it. So I know a few things about it and that's why I wanted to talk to you about it. But there are some practices that I see on LinkedIn that, well, they annoy me. Let me, just, let me just put it that way. And so I want to address some of those things so that you're not making some of these mistakes. So four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. First and foremost, and this is one that I beat down a lot, but it's really important. When you send a connection request on LinkedIn, you are given the option to add a personal note. You need to be adding the personal note. This is something that takes five seconds to do and it is so important. Add that little personal note just to make it a little bit more personal. I'm not saying that you gotta dig in and you gotta find out what this person's dog's name is. I'm saying look over their profile, use the information that is in their profile to prompt you to something that you can use as a very quick conversation starter. The personal note really only needs to be one or two sentences, but I promise you it will set you apart from all of the other people that are sending those connection requests. When I go through my LinkedIn on a daily basis to see who's uh, sent me uh, connection requests, the very first thing I do is go through and read each one that came with a personal note, and those people generally get added right away. People that don't include the personal note generally don't get added right away. The other thing about the personal note is that it makes a first impression. As opposed to waiting or hoping that they're going to jump onto your profile and check it out, the personal note makes a better first impression. So it's very important. And here's one other thing that you might not have realized. When you send a connection request on LinkedIn and you include that personal note, if that person accepts your connection request, you're going to see it in your messages tab and you're going to have an unread message from them or it's going to show up as an unread message which is going to prompt you to further engage with them because that's very important too, right? Once they've accepted the connection, you got to keep following up with them. So that's number one. Hi, Krista. Thanks for watching. So here we go. Four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. Practice number one, the personal note. Make sure you are sending the personal note. If you are not, that is not cool. Four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. Number two, adding voiceovers or voice actors to your network and then asking them for work. Maybe this hasn't happened to you, but, hi Jay Rodney, maybe this hasn't happened to you, but it has happened to me. In fact, it happens to me several times a week where I get a connection request from a voice actor and sometimes they actually do remember to include the personal note. The problem is what they're putting in the personal note. Hey Mark, I was wondering if you would listen to my demo and let me know if you have any opportunities for me. Come on, come on. Put a little more effort into it than that, okay? Put, put a little bit more effort into it than that. If you're just adding me into your network because you're hoping that I'm gonna be able to find work for you, you're doing it wrong. You're connecting with the wrong people. You need to not be connecting with voice actors, you need to be connecting with the people that can potentially give you voiceover work. But adding voice actors into your network and then asking them to provide you with work or with leads is not the right way to do it. And it is definitely a practice that is not cool. So let's avoid that one. Number three, four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. Number three, adding voiceovers to your network and then poaching all of their connections. This happens to me a lot. And one of the reasons for that is because I have 2,000 plus connections in my LinkedIn. 
And people have asked the question, well, why don't you keep your profile or, or pr profile private or why don't you keep your network private? I feel like I shouldn't have to. I feel like it should go without saying that I've worked really hard to build my LinkedIn connection and, and build my LinkedIn network and you should do the same. Don't just come in and, and try to poach all of my connections. You do better, be better. Uh, but apparently that doesn't go without saying because it happens all the time. And there are ways that you can determine how that is happening. And so I have been able to figure out that there are people that do that. I add them into my network and then they literally just scroll through all of my connections and just start sending connections, connection requests to everybody on my network. And that's just not cool. It, it really isn't. There's nothing I can do to stop it. I mean, I could, I suppose, make my network private, but that's just annoying. And, and, and that defeats the purpose of my network in other capacities outside of just strictly finding voiceover leads. So if you wanna keep, if you wanna keep the respect of your fellow voice actors in this industry, and, and if you wanna keep your own self-respect, I mean, really, let's be honest, if you wanna keep your own self-respect, then just go find your own network. Find your own leads, build your own relationships. Yeah, there's gonna be crossover. Of course there's gonna be crossover. I understand that. But going down and just ripping off somebody's network, connection for connection for connection for connection, that part is definitely not cool. Find your own network, get your own leads, and do it based on the type of work that you wanna do. Everybody that's in my network may not be right for you and your network because that might not be the kind of work that you wanna do anyway. So do, yeah, Krista, no, who said that? Steven, Steven says, do your own homework. Thank you, Steven. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Do your own homework. So, it's okay if you wanna add other voice actors into your network. It's okay that there's going to be some crossover, but if I have 2,000 connections in my network and you add me to your network and then you had like 50 connections, but then a week later you had 700 connections and almost all of those are the same as mine, not cool. Not cool at all. Obviously, there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I can punish you, but I'm just saying, not cool. Do better. All right, so four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. Number five, laying down comment for comment for comment with other voice actors. If LinkedIn is gonna work for you, you have to be present on the network. You've gotta spend time going through the feed on LinkedIn and you've gotta engage with people. That is what social media is all about. Whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, doesn't matter, it's all about engagement. And engagement is the path to building relationships and relationships is what marketing is all about. This is all the stuff we talk about so you guys know these things. So. You're gonna to have to spend time on LinkedIn. You're gonna to have to spend time commenting on posts. That's the way that it works. And if you have crossover in your network, then there's probably going to be crossover in your post. And, and that's okay too. But laying down comment for comment for comment, like when I go in and I leave, if, if I leave 10 comments and I come back 20 minutes later and I see that another voice actor has laid down the exact 10 comments as I did, like that's, that's again, it, it goes back to doing your own, own homework right? And, and, and not just going down and just trying to knock off. I get it that there's going to be crossover. But then the other thing is you can't just go on there and just copy comments and, and lay it down because you know what? That's just going to make you look bad. At the end of the day, that's going to make you look bad with, with the person that, uh, that you're commenting on, right? They're going to see, oh, well, Mark commented on this and he said this, but then right after that, I see that this guy commented and said the same thing and it kind of looks like he did it over here and did it over here. And you, you know, it's just, it's not the way to do LinkedIn. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about this in, in this quick video and just remind you, and I, a lot of you guys are amazing at LinkedIn, and a lot of you guys are in my network, and I'm happy to have you in my network, and it's great to be connected with you, and I know that most of you get it, but there are some people that are just starting out, and, and I'm not saying that they're doing this to be ignorant or doing it to be danks or, or whatever. When you don't know, you don't know. That's why I create these videos to help you learn so that you know. So those are the four things that I would really like to see you avoid doing on LinkedIn if you are doing them. Four LinkedIn practices that aren't cool. Very quick recap for you guys. Number one, stop sending connections without a personal note. That personal note matters. It makes a great first impression. It's important. It's part of the process. Make sure you're doing it. Number two, adding voice actors to your network and then asking them for work not the way it works. 
I do keep voice actors in my network. I do refer jobs to voice actors, absolutely. But those are people that I know, that I trust, that have earned my respect, that have earned the right to work with my clients. If you're a complete stranger to me, and I have no connection to you whatsoever, and you're coming and asking me for work, that's not the way to do it. You gotta build that relationship first. Say happy birthday to your contacts. Is that a good idea? Right. Yes, of course, that's a great idea, Umberto. That's one of the things that I do. Take advantage of those built-in connection opportunities that LinkedIn gives you, and that's the way that you're gonna stay top of mind. Uh, so back to the list. Number three was adding voice actors to your network and then poaching all of their connections, which is not cool. Number four on the list was laying down comment for comment for comment for comment with other voice actors. We get it. There's going to be crossover. We're all trying to get connected with different people in the industry within different genres and stuff like that. Crossover is to be expected. Crossover is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. All I'm saying is when you get on LinkedIn, run your own race. Commenting on the same post isn't even so bad as long as you are sharing your own comments. Don't just go in and play off of, of somebody else that's, that's been there and commented before you. Have your own thoughts. Contribute something to the conversation that adds value. Do your own homework. I think it was Steven that said it in the beginning. Do your own homework. That's kind of what it comes down to. Guys, good luck out there on LinkedIn. I'm telling you, it is a great place to find opportunities. It's a great place to make personal or professional connections. Um, you're going to find far more connections in certain industries there than you will on other social networks. So I think it's a really powerful tool to use. Uh, if you haven't already signed up to get my free LinkedIn tips, I mean, I give LinkedIn tips via email, some of the tips that I've just given in this video as well, but uh, use it. Just make sure that you are using it wisely. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Sorry for uh, interrupting your dinner for those of you that were maybe getting ready to sit and eat dinner, but uh, appreciate you hanging out anyway. Got ideas for more of these LinkedIn lives, or sorry, for these uh, LinkedIn on the brain now. Got any more ideas for more of these Facebook lives? By all means, send me an email to mark at markscottvoiceover.com. Leave it in the comments if you want. And uh, always looking for ideas for some new, uh, new things to talk about, some new tips to share to help you guys on your voiceover journey. All right, cool. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Have a great rest of your day.